As far as the interview goes, uh, I did watch it. I've watched it a couple times. I think it, it, it kind of punches you in the gut. It, uh, it was hard to watch the first, actually every time I've watched part of it, it's been hard to watch. Uh, and by hard, I, I mean emotional, uh, sad. Um, you really can't imagine uh, what, what a person goes through, what Kyle went through in that scenario. I think for, you know, it takes you back to being a younger player. Um, I also think it's important to acknowledge him for being courageous, um, being brave enough to come out and uh, talk about it. Uh, you, you can see and feel how hard that was for him. Um, you hope that it helps him heal. Uh, the wounds would obviously be big in something like that, but uh, and also it helps uh, a lot of other people in uh, in the world, not just sports, but society in general. And uh, you know, there's just, just there's no place for stuff like that to happen to people in, in sport and uh, in society. You know, unfortunately, I'm a little out of the loop on this as well, but uh, I don't even know the full story. But I, you know, from what I've seen, it's it's pretty awful, and you know, I'm happy that he could at least have the you know the courage to to say something. But um, you know, I, I I was just with him for a brief amount of time, and uh, you know, he played hard. Um, he's a talented player, so I'm just I hope I wish him and his family the best, and um, you know, I'm glad he says something.